Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Michelle and welcome to another episode of Unang Math. For this episode, our lesson is about polyhedron and its different types. Without further ado, let's start with the lesson. So what is a polyhedron? When we say polyhedron, this is a three-dimensional solid figure that is made up of flat polygonal faces. This figure is a polyhedron. This is a face, this is an edge, and this is a vertex. Take a look at this face of this polyhedron. This is a rectangle. This is also a rectangle. This face is also a rectangle. And the rest of the faces are also rectangles. Rectangle is a polygon. This figure has polygonal faces, so this is polyhedron. Okay, how about these figures? The three figures on the first row are polyhedrons, while this figure in the second row are not polyhedrons. Okay, let's prove if this figure is a polyhedron. This face is a triangle. This is also triangle and this is triangle. Triangle is a polygon. So this figure has polygonal faces. So this is polyhedron. Okay, how about this figure? This is a rectangle. This is a triangle, triangle, triangle. So it has polygonal faces. So this is polyhedron. Okay, how about this third figure here? Okay, this face is a trapezoid. This is also trapezoid, trapezoid. This face is a rectangle and this is rectangle. Trapezoid and rectangle are polygons. This figure has polygonal faces, so this figure is also considered polyhedron. Okay, now take a look at these three figures on the second row. This figure doesn't have polygonal faces. Also, this figure doesn't have polygonal faces, including this figure. It doesn't have polygonal faces. These three figures are not considered polyhedron. Okay, moving on, we will now talk about the different types of polyhedron. These are not all the types of polyhedron. These are just representative examples of the common polyhedrons we see around us. Okay, the first one is prism. We actually have this topic on episode 23. So if you did not yet watch that episode, you may do so after this video. Okay, when we say prism, this is a polyhedron with two parallel and congruent polygonal bases. And all of its lateral faces are rectangles. Okay, take a look at these prisms. This base is a triangle. This is a triangle, congruent and parallel. These faces are rectangles. Okay, this base is rectangle, this is rectangle, so this is a rectangular prism. And the faces are rectangles. Okay, how about here? This base is pentagon, this is also pentagon, and the faces are rectangles. So all these are prisms. Okay, specifically triangular prism, this is a rectangular prism, and pentagonal prism. But aside from calling this one as triangle, triangular prism, rectangular prism, and pentagonal prism, they have another names. For this figure, since these have five polygonal faces, okay, we can call this one also as pentahedron. Okay, what about this? Aside from calling rectangular prism, since it has six polygonal faces, then we can call this one also as hexahedron. And for this last figure, aside from calling pentagonal prism, since it has seven polygonal faces, we can call this heptahedron. So polyhedrons are named according to the number of polygonal faces. Okay, moving on to the second type of polyhedron. These are pyramids. Okay, when we say pyramid, 
This is a polyhedron with a polygonal base and triangular faces. If prisms have rectangular faces for pyramids, they have triangular faces. So the base of this figure is triangle. Faces are triangles. So this is a triangular pyramid. Okay, what about here? Base is a rectangle. Faces are triangle so this is a rectangular pyramid aside from calling this triangular pyramid this is rectangular pyramid they have another names for this triangular pyramid you can call this one also tetrahedron okay why tetrahedron because it has four okay polygonal faces Okay, what about this rectangular pyramid? Aside from calling rectangular pyramid, okay, since it has five polygonal, pa polygonal face faces, then we can call this pentahedron. Okay, for the third type of polyhedron, there is what we call frustum. When we say frustum, this is a polyhedron form from a pyramid by cutting it with a plane parallel to the base resulting in the polyhedron that is not the pyramid okay what does it mean by this one so originally we have pyramid and then by cutting it with a plane parallel to the base so we cut with a plane parallel to the base then we now have this smaller pyramid on top and this figure Below. Okay, this figure below is what we call the frustum. So this is the base or the upper base of the frustum, and this is the lower base of the frustum. Okay, this is the height, and the face of frustum is a trapezoid. If pyramids have triangular bases, a uh, triangular faces. Prisms have rectangular faces. For frustum, faces are trapezoid. Okay, this time let's answer this concept check question. The frustum in the diagram is a rectangular frustum with a rectangular base having blank vertices and eight edges. So this is our frustum rectangular bases okay having how many vertices so we have four vertices below and four vertices on top so total eight vertices okay what about edges okay we have here four edges four edges on top so that's eight and another four edges here so total 12 edges okay this time let's answer this simple question the polyhedron that has the same number of edges as the following polyhedron is. So this is our figure. And we have three edges here, another three, and then three. So total nine edges. So the polyhedron that has the same number of edges as this figure, is it triangular pyramid, triangular prism, square pyramid, or square prism? Okay, if it's a triangular pyramid, then that means the base is triangle. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it has 6 edges. So this is not the answer we're looking for. Okay, what about triangular prism? Okay, this is a triangular prism. So that means it has 9 edges. For square pyramid, so the base is a square. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, that means square pyramid has 8 edges. What about for square prism? So, since it's a square, so 4 below and then 4 on top and then 4 here. So, total 12 edges. So, the polyhedron that has the same number of edges as the following polyhedron is... Okay, number two, triangular prism.